Hi everyone, um, this is a tutorial on how to search for files on your PC. Now most of us will be familiar with the normal Windows search companion which pops up when you click on your start button and search. This is actually quite a slow method, particularly if you've got quite a lot of files on your PC. Um, so I'm going to show you an alternative way. Before we get to downloading and installing the software, the first thing you need to do is allow indexing on your hard drives. So if you go to My Computer and right-click on your hard disk icon, go down to Properties, and you need to make sure that this option, Allow Indexing Service, is ticked. If it's not, tick the box and click OK. Windows will then build an index file of your documents and folders. OK. What we now need to do is download the software and I've provided a link in the description. This is where you will end up and there are various versions of Windows Search 4 depending on your version of Windows so you need to make sure that you pick the right version. When you download and install the software what you then need to do is allow Windows Search to index all of your files. So if we start search and this is what Windows search for looks like okay now there are various options that you can choose to set this up and if we maximize this and go to this button and choose search options now I've chosen disk C disk G and Microsoft Outlook Express was chosen by default. Now if we choose my main drive and modify it, you can see that I've set it up to search every area of drive G. Okay, And this is how you set up search options within this piece of software. The first time you do this, once you've chosen your options, Windows Search will then build an index of every single file that you have chosen to include. Now that can take hours. You can carry on using your PC if you want to, but I found that the best way is simply to let it get on with the indexing and it will notify you when the indexing is complete. And while indexing is going on, down in your taskbar there will be a little magnifying glass to show you that the indexing is in progress. Okay. Let's try uh, a search. Now I've chosen all locations, so it's going to choose documents, emails, music, pictures and video, any appointments, IM chats. And let's try searching for all the files on my computer that are bitmaps. So I've typed in a wildcard and an extension of BMP, click desktop and over here you'll see it searching. Okay. Now my computer has already been indexed so we just need to wait a while for the search to complete. And while it's doing that I'll pause the video. That's taken about a minute to find all the BMP files on my PC. Now the really nice thing about this program is that as well as finding all the files, if we click one, it shows a preview of the file, but it also shows you all the other files of that type that are in that particular folder. And if you click a file, because it's a graphic, it will actually open it up in the Windows Picture and Facts Viewer. Okay, let's try another search. Let's try texts. Okay. Again, wait until it does its search. This time I'll leave the video running so you can see how quick it is. And there you are, it's found all the text files on my computer. And again, we've got a preview. Why is this useful? Well, in the old search engine, you could never really be quite sure whether you'd found the right file. With a preview, you can click a file you think is the one you want and actually read it in the preview pane. So that's quite useful. 
Okay. Now let's suppose we want to exclude a location from our search. If you go over to this icon, click the little arrow and do search options. And let's try Drive G and we'll modify it. Open it up. Let's say I don't want to look in the Dell folder. If I untick the box, click OK, that will now be an excluded folder. And from now on, the search engine will ignore that file altogether. Okay. I can easily add that back. Um, I can exclude more options. For example, Microsoft Outlook Express, I don't use this. So let's remove it from the search. And that will now be excluded. Now let's suppose you only want to look for certain types of file. Let's say I only want to look for music. Now let's try a file name and let's see what I've got. Let's do mp3. Wait for it to search. Oh, sorry, that was wrong. It should have been there. There we go. Desktop. And there we are. It's found all the files of the type MP3. So let's pick one. And there we are. It even comes up with the artwork and a list of other MP3, pre, MP3 files that are in that particular folder. You can't actually play it in here though. Okay. So, I mean, that's just a, a brief overview of what Windows Search 4 can do. It's certainly more versatile than the um, Windows Search Companion that comes installed by default. Uh, I think it's well worth getting. Okay. Um, Please leave any comments and if you like my videos please subscribe and forget to rate. Thanks guys, see ya.